Time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of French life, and that's, of course, with Florence Filmino. Hey, Flo. This week, we're going to focus on France's famous, or perhaps infamous, 35-hour working week. It certainly is a cause of fascination abroad since it was introduced 16 years ago. That's right. The 35-hour working week, les 35 heures, were introduced in the year 2000 by Lionel Jospin's socialist government, and it completely revolutionized working life here in France. The law was championed by a woman named Martine Aubry, a very familiar face in French politics. She's currently the mayor of Lille, but at the time, she was the labor minister, and she argued that limiting working hours would in actually encourage companies to hire more uh, and thus improve the well-being of workers and also create jobs at the same time. Let's take a listen. Job creation should be the big winner. Thus our campaign slogan, free time for workers, an opportunity for job creation. Now, when this was introduced, the big argument, economic argument by the government was it would create jobs. Did that work out? Well, the government promised it would create between 600 and 800,000 jobs. And in the 10 years that followed the law, uh, 350,000 jobs were created, so a little bit less than they had promised. And also, uh, some economists argued that actually the 35-hour working week didn't have anything to do with this period of job creation. Let's take a listen. We'll never really know the truth. To put it simply, we've observed that the evolution of job creation in France was completely parallel to job creation trends in other European countries. In other words, we haven't seen any link between job creation and the 35-hour week. And from the very, very beginning flow, uh, the 35-hour week has been a very divisive issue. Of course, the right wing here in France and business representatives have been the fiercest critics. That's right. Critics say that the 35-hour working week is the root cause of France's problems in general. They say it makes France less competitive. It dissuades businesses from hiring people. It costs the state a lot of money. It's not going in the direction that the rest of the world is going in. What's interesting is when Nicolas Sarkozy ran for president in 2007, his campaign slogan was actually travailler plus pour gagner plus, work more to earn more. And at his first press conference as president, he vowed to do away with the law. Let's take a listen. Do you want 2008 to mark the end of the 35-hour work week? To be completely honest, yes. We so a lot of tough talk there from Nicolas Sarkozy. But what's interesting is when the right wing was in power, they actually didn't get rid of the law altogether. Instead, they kind of tweaked it. They watered it down. They made it a lot easier for businesses to essentially get around the rules. Uh, and ironically, the current socialist government has gone a lot further into making the system a lot more flexible with its very controversial labor code reform, la loi travail, that we've been hearing so much about. So how does the situation stand today? I mean, how many hours do people actually work? A lot of people work more than 35 hours. We do. You and I both do. <laughs> Absolutely. The stereotype of the very lazy French worker attached to uh, 35 hours a week is a little blown out of the water. First of all, keep in mind, the law doesn't apply to everyone. For instance, independent business owners aren't concerned by the law. They, lurk, they work a lot more than 35 hours, but a lot of employees do as well. Let's take a look at the statistics. They're fascinating. In 2014, French employees worked on average 40.5 hours a week, and they get benefits in exchange for this extra time. We'll get to that in a sec. But you can see, compared to other countries, it is lower than Germany and the UK, but it's higher than Denmark here. So who actually works 35 hours a week? Mainly people who work by the hour and people who work in France's very large public sector. We've already uh, explored this in French Connection. Uh, le, les fonctionnaires mm -hmm. represent, you know, 20 percent of the workforce. So a lot of people do work 35 hours a week. And now, given what you said, this might surprise some of our viewers, but fewer hours doesn't mean less productive. In fact, uh, French workers are some of the most productive in Europe. That's right. Some more fascinating statistics for you. If you look at labor productivity, so that is the value of goods and services produced per hour per worker, you can see France is pretty good. It's fifth highest in the EU. It's higher than Germany, higher than the United Kingdom, higher than the EU average here. And defenders of the 35 hours work week say, you know, that's logical. The law completely improves the well-being of workers. It makes them more efficient and more productive. But a lot of people also are a little skeptical about these statistics. They say that you know, got to keep in mind, unemployment is a lot higher in France. And that means that the least productive individuals actually don't have jobs. And so that tends to flatten 
flatter France's productivity numbers. You've told us about the politics of all of this and how it dis divides left and right here in France. What does the average French person think of this? Well, it's a little bit hard to gauge. They're constantly polls on the issue, and they're very you know, controversial and, and very uh, contradictory. Uh, people tend to, you know, have a very divided uh, opinion, just like the political class. The only thing that's clear is that the 35-hour working week has given French workers a lot more free time. And that leads us to our word du jour, a word that comes up a lot, actually, in work life in France, RT. Now, this stands for réduction du temps de travail. Any time an employee works over the legal limit, they either get paid extra time or they get time off. It's kind of like a, an extra vacation day that you can take whenever you want. And as you can imagine, yeah. French people quite like these RTTs <laughs> because it, it tends to improve their work-life balance. Let's take a listen. When you have to work overtime, you tell yourself, that's okay because I'm going to get a day of RTT. It's a real breath of fresh air. So the million dollar question really is, is this system sustainable in the long run? Well, countless politicians have vowed to do away with the system. Most yeah. recently, the conservative controlled Senate actually tried to slip in uh, getting rid of the system as part of the labor law reforms. Uh, but what's interesting is by reforming the 35 hour working week is really a political dynamite issue. In fact, any attempt to reform the system uh, sparks major street protests, workers eager to protect this, this work life balance that they cherish so much these 35 hours even if after all they work more than 35 hours and that was this week's french connections with florence Vilmino. thank you very much if you have any other questions you'd like us to answer be sure to tweet flow that's at flow Vilmino. be sure also to check out previous shows on our website on france24.com